Ding. Good morning. <laughs> I still haven't washed my clothes. <laughs> this, this These clothes so last cool. four days. Isn't that amazing? Look at that. <laughs> they haven't moved a, uh, an inch. <laughs> Nothing's <laughs> wilting. <laughs> We're collapsing time. Well, we are. We are. We are. No doubt about it. How are you, sis? Oh, I'm, I'm great. <laughs> <laughs> These last few days, woo! The oh, yes. <laughs> been a doozy, huh? They've been a doozy. Boy, practicing these lessons, I tell you. Mm. I feel like a new woman. Okay, <clears throat> sis is going to read lesson 114 for us. Oh, really? Yeah, <clears throat> Okay. For morning and evening review, oh, I am spirit. Mm. Mm. Sure I am, the, what, what did you say? I said, are you sure? Uh, just thinking about that now. Can I be the body and spirit? Can I be, what's that new age teaching? Mind, body, spirit. body and spirit. Mm. Or mind, yeah. soul, and spirit? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. No. no. Okay. No. So this is a very different teaching that Jesus is bringing in in A Course in Miracles mm -hmm. uh, than many other spiritual pathways mm -hmm. because what he's basically saying is I am spirit, which means I am not a body. Mm. I am the son of God. No body can contain my spirit, nor impose on me a limitation God created not. Mm. Oh, that's a big teaching, isn't it? It is. It is. So I'm not the body. I'm not uh, what my body's five senses are reporting back to me. Okay. I am the son of God. No body can contain my spirit nor impose on me a limitation God created not. You know, when we last, I think when we last spoke about this, I am spirit, uh -huh. was, was um, mm, we may have included an analogy or an example of, of, you know, when we were thinking about maybe transporting our mind to the other side of the universe, mm. right? Right. And uh, maybe as well, if we wanted to join with another person yeah. sincerely in our heart, do we need a body to do that? Can right. we join them in our heart, in our mind right now, whether they're still seemingly in a body or whether they've already passed on? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. We can, pa we can actually join with them whether they've passed on or not, right? That ties into our, um, what he's pointing to in this lesson. You know, he's saying that, you know, if you really contemplate and meditate on that fact that you are spirit, then you are absolutely limitless. You're a limitless spiritual being as the son of God. So the body therefore is, an, is the idea of trying to contain what cannot be contained and that the body serves to limit the son of God, right? So the body is an idea of confinement and limitation of what can never be con confined or limited because you are pure spirit. And what is possible when you, you know, are willing to accept that you're pure spirit? You can join with anything, anywhere, right? Didn't we just learn that we're one with all of creation? Mm -hmm. And if that's so, is communication um, eclipsed or severed because of the idea of bodies and, you know, bodies and limitation, those are just ideas, but they're not the truth of you. So as an unlimited spiritual being, you know, you can be anywhere and with anyone by turning to that light within mm -hmm. that communication between, you know, the, the one sonship, I'm just feeling into this. It's like, just you can't, what you are cannot be contained. And this body is nothing more than a symbol in our mind. 
it serves to as the idea that we can be limited or confined or die. It, it does has no power at all. So the body is an idea in the mind, not the brain, because no. the brain is like a finger. Yeah. It's just a body part, right? Yes. So in the in the mind, we have the idea of the body. Mm -hmm. So when we align with spirit mm -hmm. as we were created mm -hmm. with God, by God, then what happens to the body? It's like these. This is, you know, here's a symbol. It's something, you know, it's, they're useful, sometimes helpful, and I can put them on or I can take them off, put them down. But does that change what we are? No, as a spiritual unlimited being, we have infinite resources in our mind. It's why how, how Jesus, Jesus could come up with 5,000 fish and loaves that didn't seem to be there one minute, but were there the next. It's complete dominion over all symbols of form. Pick so, them up, take them down. Mm -hmm. So over the relative world then, sis. That's right. The illusory world. Yes. And that's why miracles, mm -hmm. right? That's why there's no order of difficulty in miracles. When we recognize that we made the world, is it so difficult to conceive or accept that we have absolute dominion over what we made? First, we made it, and then we decided we became victim to it, right? That its laws govern us. No, no, no. This is coming back. This declaration, I am spirit, is a declaration of dominion over everything that we seem to have made. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. There's the bullseye right there. No, I can feel that. Okay, because I can't be spirit and, by the way, I'm the body, <laughs> right? Well, it's like when you picked up those sunglasses, could you pick them up again? Mm -hmm. Okay, so are you the sunglasses? No. Man, I'd find that very difficult to have a relationship with you if you were. <laughs> <laughs> You're looking very clever today. <laughs> That's right, though. This is the the body is just like this. Anything, you know, your phone, pick it's it up. A tool. What's that? It's, it's a tool. It's a tool. That's body right. is a tool. The while we while we believe we're here in this dream, it's a tool. That's right. And it's a tool to be used for healing, a communication device, right? Funny that you know. I, I think I mentioned to you that in the Bible it was Moses and Elijah that lived five, at least five hundred years before Jesus did. But when Jesus was up on that mountain top, and uh, he was with his, was it? yeah, and a few of his disciples were with him, Moses and, El and Elijah appeared to them, and they recognized them, and that really was so helpful to me. It was like. This body is just like the signature stamp thing that we have in our mind and, and that they could use it to come back into the dream 500 years later and manifest that body so that it could communicate with those in the dream with Jesus and the disciples heard them and saw them and recognized them. So interesting, isn't it? It's just like this body is just, you know, you rumble through the box of your tools in the mind and there's the body. Oh, I can use this. So if I the body while we're duped by the illusion mm -hmm. it seems that the body has to be born That's through yeah. a parent or through a mother had to show up somehow okay. <laughs> to make it work and, but as we evolve mm -hmm. we realize the body is merely a projection that's mm -hmm. how jesus was able yes. to he didn't resurrect his previous body he actually projected an entirely new one. He didn't have to go through the birth process. No. Ha, I can't wait. Very, so time. grateful for that. <laughs> okay, we're going a bit too deep here. Oh, sorry. 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 Just that, take, no, just, just to take all the, the limitations off. If you are a spirit, consider yourself immortal mm -hmm. and unlimited. That's what we want to encourage you to do. Just what does that mean? Go within, ask your inner teacher, the Holy Spirit. What does it mean that I am spirit? It'll be enlightening. Okay. I will accept my part in God's plan for salvation. I will accept my part in God's plan for salvation. What can my function be but to accept the word of God 
who has created me for what I am and will forever be. What can my function be but to accept the word of God who has created me for what I am and will forever be? Right, ask the one who created what you are and what your function is. He knows. I will yes. accept my part in God's plan for salvation. Well, forgiveness is a key to this, right? Yes. Mm. Yeah, there's only one thing to do here is to forgive what we think we've made and take our place mm. as an expression of God's will. For yeah. And I, I think here too, and this is for me because the first 10 or 15 years of studying the course, I got a bit confused with that is um, I tried to understand <laughs> and uh, you know it's a spiritual ego that was trying to understand so please don't get caught in trying to understand it's more important to forgive mm. be willing to forgive ourselves for for whatever we seem to be triggered by mm. and and that means that includes forgiving um, our self-judgment yes yeah yep yeah, particularly when we miss some of these practice periods with the lessons <laughs> what were you going to say sis now just just thinking about the importance of what you shared you know to, to recognize that the light that is the mind of god is already ours it's in our mind it's available to us and so this thing about I need to understand or I'm trying or I'm striving, you know, it's such a, you, you come to see how impossible that is that you could learn or achieve anything. It's in only in the act of forgiving what we've made, including the mythical me, that your mind is returned to knowledge or the, with the, you know, capital K, the mind of God. You do know everything. There is no striving and learning, right? It's just, the only thing we can do is forgive ourselves for what we thought we made in the first place to block the flow of knowledge that's ours with him. And it's in the forgiveness that reveals the understanding we already have. That's right. You can't be forgotten. No. Yeah, exactly. Forgiveness wipes away the block. Mm -hmm. And then what is flows again. Yeah, thank you. Um, that's my lesson for myself. Thank you. <laughs> You're free to join me. <laughs> okay, lesson 114. I am spirit on the hour. I am spirit on the half hour. I will accept my part in God's plan for salvation. Thanks, sis. Beautiful. Are we done with that one? I think that was a good one. Yeah. yeah. That was okay. a good one. Are we going to go change our clothes now? Well, I curled the bottom of my hair. Chances are they'll know that I just changed my clothes and I'm trying to dupe them. But uh, <laughs> we'll see you next time, guys. Yeah. Bye. Bye.